Hey class. Right, we're in math right now. We're on page 237. We're gonna talk about comparing. I know as soon as you hear this, the word comparing, you're gonna think less than, greater than, equal to. That's not what we're talking about this time. In this case, it's about division. So if you look in your book on page 237, and it says comparing, think about dividing when you're gonna do this. Because that's really all this is. So think about dividing, okay? The rule says use division to compare two numbers. That's really all you're doing is dividing. You should know how to divide by now. And these aren't always going to be hard numbers to divide like some of you think. Because some of you, I know when you hear division, you're like, oh great, not again. I know some of y'all really do not like division. But this one's not going to be too bad for you. Okay, if you look at the example, it says... 81 pounds is nine times as heavy as nine pounds. And I know some of you are thinking, huh? What does that mean? All it's saying is this. All it's saying is this division problem. It means that it, and this also can be saying this. So, 81 pounds is 9 times as heavy as 9 pounds. If you have 9 pounds and you add times 9 more to it, it's going to give you 81 pounds. Okay? Let's look at the next one in the example. It says 2,700 miles is 10 times as far as 270 miles. All it's saying is this. It's like if you said 270 times 10, and it's going to equal 2,700. So it's just saying if you had, if you had 270,000 miles and you went 10 times more than that, it's going to equal 2,700 miles. So you're dividing, and you can check it with multiplication. Okay? I'm going to do the three word problems with you on page 270, 237. So let's look at first word problem. So it's 1A. Okay? At the bake sale, the girls sold 99 cookies and 33 brownies. The cookies were how many more times the brownies? So you can already tell the cookies were more popular than the brownies. So you just want to have more times it was the most popular thin brownies. So what you're saying is 33 divided by 99. All you're is, is dividing. So you're saying so you have the division problem. Shouldn't be too hard to do a division problem. So, 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 3 is 9. So, how many times it was? 3. So, the cookies were 3 times. So, 99 cookies is 3 times more than 33 brownies. So, it was 3 times. 
All you're doing, guys, is taking those two numbers that's in the problem and dividing them. That's all you're doing is dividing. Okay? Look at 2B. I mean, 1B. Sorry. On Monday, Mr. Brown traveled 432 miles. On Tuesday, he traveled 54 miles. How many times further did he travel on Monday than he traveled on Tuesday? Like I said, you're just dividing. You want to know how much more he drove on Monday than Tuesday, basically. How many more times? So, we'll say this is B for number 1. It's 54. We're going to divide that by 432. This, you might have to do some estimating. Like, just pick a number and we'll say, like, 6. 6 times 4 is... 24, 6 times 5 is 30, 31, 32. Well, you know you can go bigger than that. Remember, you have to estimate sometimes when you're dividing. So, that's all it is is division. So, you would just see. 8 times 4 is what? 32. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 3 more is 43. So it was 8 times. He drew it. So, he, Mr. Brown traveled 432 miles on Monday, which is 8 times more than the 54 miles he drove on Tuesday. So he went a lot further on Monday than he did Tuesday. Let's look at C. James weighed 4 kilograms when he was born. He now weighs 48 kilograms. How many times as heavy is he now as when he was born? Just divide those two numbers. This should be an easy division problem for you. By looking at that right there, you should be able to know what the answer is. That should be an easy division problem for you. It's going to be 12. 4 times 12 is 48. So it was 12 times. So guys, when, it's, when this is comparing, using division to compare the two numbers, it's not really hard. You're just dividing the two numbers. You're trying to figure out how many more times something is than something. Okay? Look at 2A. On that same exact page. Alright. It says 85 feet is blank times as long as five. That's all you have to do to set it up and then divide it. That's all you're doing is taking those two numbers, setting up a division problem to figure out the answer. Well, you know right now, one times five is five. Eight minus five is three. Bring down your five. Seven. Seven times five is thirty-five. So it's seventeen times. So it would read eighty-five feet is seventeen seventeen times as long as five feet. So that's all you have to do. And then the bottom of that page is dividing with fractions. Remember the keep, change, flip when you divide with fractions? Then you do have fill in the blank with the comparing of greater than, less than, equal to. And multiplication and division and rounding, conversion of um, Fahrenheit and Celsius. 
If you have any questions on any of this math work, please let me know, guys. Comparing is just dividing. Don't let it upset you. You can do this, class. All right, bye. I'll see you again.